Hey guys, how you going? Uh, I'm Benji. Uh, you may know me obviously as a caster from StarCraft 2 in Southeast Asia, or you might know me as the manager of Zeria Gaming. And basically here, I'm going to show you how to uh, change your RAM. Basically, Kingston, like complete bosses, gave me this beautiful RAM here. Uh, let me open it actually. Try to keep it all on camera. Sorry if it sounds a bit bad, by the way. Usually I record sound with my computer, but as you can see, my computer's not plugged in at the moment. But uh, yep, there we go. So we've got eight gigs of RAM here, and we're going to replace our current RAM which is right here. So basically, first thing you need to do, like this is basically for, for guys that don't use computers much. So let's say you game, but you're not necessarily up to scratch on the whole, oh yeah, um, let's build a computer from scratch kind of thing. Uh, obviously I did build this one by, um, with the help of a friend from scratch. It's a pretty cool computer. Uh, but basically what you gotta do is unplug your computer. That's the first thing, turn it off, shut it down, pull all the cables out and move it somewhere. I suggest moving it because Usually you want a nice open area like this, as opposed to having it tucked up against the wall. And basically, you probably want to clean it out first as well. Make sure you're doing that. I've just given mine a bit of a clean. It's looking, it's looking okay. Uh, not much dust left. It was pretty bad. Um, and basically, you want to open it up, obviously. You take the side case off. My side case is here, obviously. Uh, and you'll see something like this. You'll probably have more cables, because my cables are kind of running down and behind to make it a bit easier. But, uh, yep, so open it up. Have your RAM ready. And basically... Uh, the first thing you want to do is take out your old RAM. So, RAM is located here uh, on the motherboard, of course, usually next to the uh, processor. This big thing here is your graphics card, power supply down the bottom here. Uh, so, basically, how you do that is you go in and you'll have tabs on either side of the, of the RAM. Now, depending on your graphics card, it might be a little bit different. Mine's a little bit weird, uh, but basically, you need to, to open the tabs at the top and the bottom. Okay, It may take a bit of effort. Now, mine at the bottom don't actually open. They're kind of stuck there. Uh, that's just how the graphics card is designed. So try and open both sides, but some graphics, uh, some uh, motherboards, sorry, don't allow you to do so. Once they're open, it's simple as just pulling it out like that, and you'll have your RAM coming out easily. So take your old one out, store it somewhere. I'll just put it on a uh, nice secure spot over here. And then comes the process of putting your new RAM in. Okay, so I've got eight gigs here. It's four sticks. I've got four slots there. So obviously, I just want to fill up every slot with RAM. Now. Obviously, you have to open all the slots first. Uh, and basically, first of all, when you look in here, you'll see that your RAM will have a, a nook, like a bit that comes up here on one side. So if you look into your motherboard case, you'll see also there is a, um, a bit of a nook matching it, sort of towards the bottom usually. Uh, so make sure you line it up so the, the smaller end uh, relates to where it needs to sit, and otherwise you'll just break it. Uh, so you're going to slide it in, uh, basically put it into to both ends, push down, and Usually the top will close by itself by just pushing down on the RAM. You don't actually need to click it back in. So just press down the RAM and it should just snap shut. If it doesn't, just um, as you're pressing down, snap, snap the, uh, the thing in. So I'm just going to put all four in here. Now the thing to keep in mind is, you can, I don't know if you can see it in the video, quality isn't that good, but there are two colors here. There's black and blue. So the black one and the blue one are sort of like compatible with each other. So if you've only got two sticks, let's say you've only got, uh, let's say you've got 8 gig of RAM, but they're four sticks each. You want to make sure they match up. So you want to go uh, both the same color. You don't want them next to each other in different colors. You want them both black or both blue. Uh, so just keep pulling your RAM in like this. Just be careful, obviously. It is uh, delicate. You don't want to like scratch it or destroy it any way, shape, or form. Obviously, I'm trying to work around the camera as well so you can kind of see it. Although I'm probably blocking the view anyway. Uh, so yeah, just going to stick my fourth one in here. And... It's seriously as easy as this. This is probably the easiest thing to replace in a computer. You replace anything else, you probably have to format your computer and start again. And as you can see, all four sticks of RAM now are in. Looks pretty boss. That's eight gigs. But yeah, basically, if you want to replace it, uh, it's easy. Like you seriously do that, put the side case back on, plug it in, and you should be good to go. That easy. Uh, if you want to replace your graphics card, your, your processor, your motherboard, you have to basically pull the whole thing apart and rebuild it, more or less. So. If you look at upgrade your computer quickly, your RAM might be a little bit low. Seriously, that took, what, two minutes? It's four minutes in the video. Really easy. Anyone can do it. Just be really careful and make sure you're not statics as well. So before you go into your computer, usually touch the metal case or something first just to get rid of any static in you. Uh, or just, just ground yourself, basically. Because uh, if you have a static charge and you touch a piece of the computer, you can actually break that component. I've seen it done. Or well, I've seen a friend do it. Not me himself. I'm not a bad bit. Yeah, so just be careful. It is your computer, obviously. It's what you love, so learn how to take care of it. And make sure you also clean it out. Oh, my goodness. I hate going to people's places, and they've got, like, so much dust in their computer. And they're like, oh, it's running hot. 
I'll let you guess why. Dust doesn't exactly allow heat to escape that easily. So keep cleaning it out every month or two. Just pull it outside. Get a bottle of, um, of uh, canned air. I'm trying to find my bottle. It's actually right here. Let's grab it. So yep, there's my bottle there. Canned air. Uh, you basically just spray it in there. You get it from any like Dick Smith or any hardware spot like that. Really easy. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you've learned something. If you didn't, at least you had a little bit of a look inside my computer. Looks pretty boss. Anyway, thanks for tuning in and we shall see you next time.